this is Daniel from the GoTo family. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below for more travel content. All right, so today I am in Lutro, Greece. This is a small village here on the island of Crete. And we've been here for three days and this is our third and final day here. And we've had a blast in Lutro. This is a wonderful, place a magical place to come to to get away and just enjoy some rustic views some beach time and some delicious Cretan food as well so I'm gonna talk a little bit about what exactly is Lutro how to get here is it worth coming here and things of that nature so Lutro is a small village on the southern coast of the island of Crete. It's so small, in fact, that uh, you can't really get here by car. You have to either take a ferry, a boat, or you have to hike to get here. It's not an island, but it's so remote that you can't actually get here by car. So we rented a boat. <laughs> This town's so lame, I'm feeling so wired It's 4 a.m., I'm not even tired We're in your car, we can drive away Oh yeah, yeah, yeah We're almost there, I'm loving this feeling Of something new, just right what I needed Take me there, we can drive away Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Lutro is a Greek beach paradise. That's really what it is. It's unbelievable, really. It, it's, it's so small, but the thing is the water here is just so magnificent that you can just bathe in the water all day. It is unbelievable. There are no waves. The water is super clear, is <laughs> crystal clear. In fact, it is just unbelievable. Bring your water shoes or your rock shoes, whatever you want to call them, bring those shoes because this is a pebble beach. It's a pebble and rock beach. So if you go there barefooted, you will feel the pain, but you have to pay for your seat and it can range from about five euros to about seven euros, depending on the location. Now, uh, this whole entire Lutro village by the water, you can walk it in about seven minutes from one and to the other. Now, there's about three beaches here. So you have the main beach, which is kind of like in the middle of everything, and also where most of the seats and action seems to be at. But you also have two beaches on each side. So on one side, it's by where the ferries are, and it's like this place called Daskalo Janis. And at the other end, uh, you also have this other kind of secluded beach, but it's a little bigger, and it seems like there's a lot of action at that end. Uh, there's like this bar area, people are lounging on their seats on these rocks. It's really, really neatly set up. I really dig that. Um, but we've spent most of our time just in the middle, just because it's it was the closest area too. This is actually a town that gets a ton of visitors each and every day. You will see these, these big ferries that are going to transport a lot of people and not everybody uh, stays here for three days. A lot of people just come here from other surrounding destinations, notably Horus Fakion or other places and they come here just to enjoy the day. They will rent, you know, a chair by the beach. Even though it's uh, uh, slightly touristy, I have to say, 
it still retains that rustic feel to it. And what's cool is that a lot of the people that work here, even though it's a, it's a really small village, uh, they seem to kind of live here. I, I actually don't know where, somewhere in the mountains or something. You will see the locals on Fridays and, and Saturdays. You will see them out and about at, at some of the, the bars or taverners around. So uh, the scene is, is really cool as a result of that. <laughs> So one of our favorite places is this restaurant called Ilios. We came here, we celebrated Ava's sixth birthday at Ilios, and we came here again and the food is just as delicious. Ilios is a beautiful restaurant. It is perched right by the sea, right by the water. So if you are lucky enough, you can get a table uh, where you're actually basically on the water. It's almost like a dock and you have a table right there. You can just step aside and just put your feet in the water. We actually ate there today and uh, that's where I filmed this footage. We ate there earlier today and we had a bunch of things like beans, uh, you know, like these giant beans, they call them. Uh, you know, I had the fish, the, uh, the sea bass as my main course. They make a killer sea bass there. It's really delicious. Uh, they marinate it really well. They grill it to perfection. Uh, it's not overly pricey. It's about 16 euros or so for the fish. It comes with, with these french fries and the sea bass is just so nice. It's, it's this long fish and it just comes apart really, really well. Just have to watch out for the bones, you know, and not be afraid to get your hands uh, dirty uh, to, <laughs> to kind of dig in and, and really enjoy that fish. I definitely <laughs> Definitely enjoy the skin on, on the sea bass. We also ate at this place called the Blue House. And this place is pretty good as well, I have to say. Uh, it's, it's hard to really differentiate some of these restaurants. They all make pretty decent food. Uh, and the Blue House also has nice seating by the water. So you can just, you see the boats. They're kind of just lodged right by the restaurant. And it's really awesome. And you can enjoy some delicious Korean food. Now for supper. I really like this place. It's called Stratis, and this one is not actually right by the beach, which is where most of the action, or all of the action, in Lutro happens. This one you actually have to walk on a little hill, and it's not very far off, but this place gets crazy, crazy packed. And what I love about this place is that they have this Greek guy. He looks like Zeus that descended straight from the mountains behind the village of Lutro. He just came down with his cane and goat and just started barbecuing. He is a barbecue maestro. And this is a really local shop. The food is really nice and it's not very pricey. You can get things for like four or five euros and they are very delicious. Where do you stay in Lutra? Well, honestly, I don't know. You can take your pick. You can stay here. We're staying at this place called uh, Monos, I believe. And uh, this place is really nice. Um, look, you can see your room. It's a nice room. It has a beautiful view. What I like about this place is that it's perched a little higher up on the hill. So you could have a nicer view of everything. And the view here is just unbelievable. And right now it's just about to be dusk. So you could see here the Mediterranean dusk here in Lutro is just unbelievable. So uh, we're paying about a hundred euros, uh, I believe. Of course we are five of us, so we always need more space and, and things, things like that. So uh, it's always more expensive if you are more people. Also, I really enjoy where I'm sitting right now. Their balcony is huge, it's spacious, the kids can play here, I can do my work here, I can film this video here. It is really awesome. It's an awesome place to, to actually spend a lot of time here when you're not at the beach or, or eating food. So you can stay here, but honestly, uh, a lot of places here, you know, just do your research and, and you should be fine. The one thing I have to say about this place is there's a lot of stairs. So when I brought those luggages up, man, it broke my back and I was in a heavy sweat and I had to relax for about 40 minutes because I was about to die. I brought up 
the three huge bags and a couple of other small bags. So something to take into account if, uh, if, you, if you don't enjoy carrying your luggage, if you have a lot of bags and you don't feel like going up a few flights of stairs, maybe look at a different place. All right, so definitely come here, guys. That's gonna do it for this video. Please subscribe for more travel content. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And from the GoTo family here in Lutro, we'll see you guys on the next one.